This is the most controversial thing Sea of Thieves has ever done. Sea of Thieves Twitter doesn't know what to do with itself. Look at poor Falcor. I understand many of you have dropped off the Sea of Thieves train, but check this out. They announced PvE only service. Why is that controversial? I don't know. Why? I don't know. Help me. Hello everyone. Hello. Season 10 will now very much be a super season. Mike Chapman just provided us with a super season as opposed to a super seasoning. But what does this super season do, Mike? It will feature the experience originally planned for season 10. Right, but Mike, that just sounds like a regular season. November will include the experience we planned for season 11. Okay. Technically, what he means is that season 10 is here on the calendar and season 11 is here on the calendar, but season 11 is still season 10, which means super season. Got it. Got it. Got it. What do you think about super seasons, Twitter? Yeah. But what are we getting in season 10, Mike? Guilds. 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 Um, seems like a cool idea. We spent about two minutes of the presentation talking about guilds, which I'm going to try now to beat. Guilds are something you'll pay attention to for about a day or two. Then the next month you're going to be like, how did I get an extra coin? Oh, right. Guilds. Cool. What do you think about guilds, Twitter? Okay. In November, as part of season 10, we're launching a brand new voyage called The Skull of Siren Song. Andrew, you saucy minx, fill me up with siren songs. The Skull of Siren Song is our first competitive voyage. Andrew, over, I'm over here. Don't talk over there. All right, since Andrew won't look me in the eye anymore, I'll take it from here. The Skull of Siren Song is a damn good idea. It's a new type of world event where at random throughout the session, you can choose to opt in to this event. And when you do, along with everyone else who opted in, goes on the same voyage. You get two maps, one holds the key, the other one holds the chest. You need both to get the loot inside the chest. Again, damn good idea. And this probably will piss a lot of people off which is good. The problem with all of this lies with the cheaters of this game. I'll give it a go, but the reason I stopped diving in season 8 was because I was tired of being Rare's anti-cheat. Mike Chapman said on Twitter that they'll be addressing the cheating problem very soon. Sure hope so, Mike. But back on topic, I think Skull of Siren Song is a good feature. What do you think, Twitter? God damn. One of the most passionate and resounding pieces of feedback oh, from both existing fans, but also players intrigued by Sea of Thieves, is the desire to play outside of the shared oh, world. Boy. The ability to experience pirate adventures in Sea of Thieves on your own or just with your chosen uh -huh. friends. This is something we've thought long and hard about. How do we provide players with the ability to do that, uh -huh. while also safeguarding what's so unique and magical about the shared world of Sea of Thieves. Oh, no. After lots of consideration, we believe we've got the answer to that in Safer Seas. We done fucked up now, Mike. I'm just being silly. I don't mind Safer Seas. The idea of just you and your crew chilling without the worry of others. I honestly don't think the people who are crying on Twitter even watched the entirety of the presentation. Rare did their homework on this one. First off, there are a ton of stuff you can't do in Safer Seas. You can't become Pirate Legend. You can't do the high value world events. Chances for the people who want to do the high seas, which is what normal seas and sea thieves is called, for stumbling onto people who actually have something worth stealing on board should increase with this feature. Do you really want to sail halfway across the map to battle a ship only to find them fishing for accommodations? Well, hopefully now you won't because they are now presumably in the safer seas. The history of Sea of Thieves controversies that people swear would be the end of the game are always put to rest after they actually try it out for themselves. The fact that slots will open up on the server for people who aren't doing tall tales, fishing or doing machinima and instead of filled with people who actually want to fight and do some gold grinding i think it's a positive for the high seas fall and hopefully it will make sea thieves a more dangerous place again and as we look to the future of the game we're more excited than ever to make this the best pirate game possible but Mike, can you in the future add a feature where people use their boats to smash into each other at the dock? <laughs> 
I gave Skull and Bones closed beta a better than Skull and Bones E3 2017 announcement trailer. 